What's up everyone, it's Mr. X Style FPS and uh got a little bit of a tutorial for you guys today and uh it's pretty much for I'd say Vegas Sony Vegas two thousand or two thousand or what am I saying? Sony Vegas nine, ten, eleven and twelve I'd say. But uh this one particularly is for uh this little tip right here I'm showing you guys is for Sony Vegas uh twelve pro. So basically, what I want to show you guys is if you guys have Sony Pro Vegas Pro 12, Sony Vegas Pro 12, whatever. Um, if you're trying to copy my settings, you want to make sure that what was it? There was one thing. This right here on Sony Vegas 11, we don't. There isn't a. Uh, View transform, so you want to make sure that's off, or it makes it look really bad. So anyway, I'm gonna cancel that because I already have it. So anyway, in, let's get into it. Now I want to show you guys how to get the same uh, color correction and sharpen and color correction secondary and brightness that I have. So basically, grab it, grab a clip, drag it in here, paste it here. I hit no. I don't know about what well, you guys do whatever you want in that situation. So now basically all you're gonna want to do is make sure you right click, well, click out of there, and then right click properties, and you always want to make sure that it's disable, resample, and maintain aspect ratio off. All right, now let's get into it. Um, color corrector. I have one preset. This is the best one. To ignore these two. So. I'm going to give you the best ones for the Christmas holiday. <laughs> so uh, drag it into that your, your video clip and let's see I'll make it bigger for you guys. So you can see it. All right. Now, these right here are what you want to copy. Now, you can mess around with them a little bit to make them whatever you want so that way the video looks right. And it's obviously you can see right now. Whoops. It doesn't look right, obviously. So this is where color corrector secondary evens it out. So I'm going to X out, and then video effects, and go. This is my best one here. Like I said, I wouldn't do you guys wrong. I'm going to give you everything that's right. Now watch, watch the right here. Let me put this back. Watch this right here. I'll make it a little bit bigger. See how it looks? It looks wrong. Well, a little bit. I guess it's because I just got hit. It looks a little bit wrong, but this is going to make it look right. See? It makes it look a little bit better. Now, what you guys want to copy is, are these right here. All these settings. All these. This is the same as what it would normally be, but just in case you guys can copy it if it's not. So, all those. That right there. So, you want to copy all those. Those. Then, um,. This is, there's only one map that I've found is necessary for brightness and contrast as you can probably see in a second and that's hijacked on Black Ops 2 but you can also mess around with them but this is just hijacked brightness contrast brightness and contrast and it's 54 and 500 for contrast center and um, you really don't need it in most maps but it tends to do a little bit of good to uh, the darker maps and let's go to a different part let's go like here like alright look you can look at it now right here and you can see how dark it is kinda now if I brighten it it looks a little bit better see so I just added a little bit of brightness and it looks good enough now after that you want to go down to sharpen now, drag and drop. Whoop! You don't want to drag the sharp, and you want to drag and drop the preset. Now, I need to go back and show you guys how to do that. How to save your presets if you guys don't already know how. So, um, the sharpen, you just put a sharpen in there. You just throw a sharpen in there, and then for all these, like you, you fix the colors. Say like you did a color correction. Now. You typed in all the numbers here, 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 and here, right? The same numbers that I have here. 
So you want to name it something like I did, Red Fix HD PBR. So then you want to hit this button like five times so that way it makes sure it saves. The same thing goes for here. Name it right there. You just write name it whatever you want, then save it, hit it like five times, make sure it saves. And it's the same thing for all all uh four of those. So uh now just in case you guys do want to use a what was it? It was um I think it was color curves, yeah. I have one color curve, but as you can see, you'll see it probably makes it look bad. It doesn't look too good to me. I don't know about what you guys think. I mean, you could mess around with it. Like, I really don't like it. See how dark it makes it look? You can, like, you can mess around with it all you want. It doesn't look too good. Like, let me go to the main preset that I had. Now, look at it in full screen. Whatever. I'll just sit right there for a minute. Now, that doesn't look too good to me. Like, what? Strike on standby. <laughs> See, it's too bright and it doesn't look good. So now, if this happens, all you have to do is click here where these things are and drag it out. And that happened again, so I'm just dragging out again. But uh, let me, let me make this a little bit smaller. All right. Now I'm gonna take it off and show you guys what it looks like. See, it looks so much better to me. Did I even take it off? Yeah, I did. <laughs> but it, it just looks a lot better. And this brightness was a little bit too much, so like you can go back and change it like 50. It looks 50 is good. Look, see now. Now it looks better. So that's all you really want to do. And um, I had this problem, and I found out this pro this uh, little this little uh, tip. Say you have problems getting to the right at the end of your video, or right at the beginning. You can just double click this right here, and it takes the whole clip. So uh, there's the end of the video, guys. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, guys. Peace.